So you guys, we're about to do something crazy today. As you can read the title, I'm combining all of my customs, all of majority of them, majority, all into to these Air Force Ones. But you guys, we're doing a part one and a part two because this video is gonna be so crazy. You know what I'm saying? I am doing like a lot of customs into one. So we're gonna call this What the Xavier Kicks Custom because I'm doing something different on really like every panel of the shoot. It's all gonna make sense too at the end. You know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna be cool to look back on the memories especially the customs that I once did. But all that being said, I'm talking too much as always. Y'all wanna see part one, so let's get it going. Relax, sit back, eat snacks, let's get it. So you guys, I hope y'all ready because we are combining every custom into one. And the first thing we gotta do is we gotta prep the shoe. We gotta prep the whole shoe. The first design is we're gonna be doing the flame. I did the flame a while back. I did this on a pair of Air Forces, of course. And uh, I think I titled the video customizing Air Force Ones with just Posca markers. So you guys, the flame, we got the orange Posca marker here. This is a really cool design. It's very easy too, very simple, you know, on just doing this. All you do is take your orange Posca marker and, and then you just you just draw a flame and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Then you take the yellow and then another orange and then from there. So you guys, I really feel like anybody can do this type of design, right? So basically what you want to do is you really just want to just sketch out the design. And then after you sketch, you just want to just take your orange marker and just kind of go in and just really just start painting out this flame. Like the flame is not hard. I think the flame got to be one of the most easiest customs to do on a pair of shoes and um i got this idea really just about honestly on tiktok looking around other people done flames on controllers and everything and then next thing i'm going to do is take my lighter orange right here and basically just go within the flame to create that like that effect and whatnot so that's what i'm doing and then after the lighter orange then i'll take the yellow and that's when everything really will start coming together So you guys, like I said, now we're gonna be taking our yellow Posca marker and just going in and doing exactly the same thing is we're gonna make this flame effect go. So you guys, the next design is we're gonna be doing the cartoon Air Force Ones. I did this a while back. You're an OG subscriber if you remember this custom, honestly, because this is like before like the YouTube algorithm kicked in and all that good stuff kicked in, but this is one of the coolest cartoon designs. This is my first cartoon design I've ever done, honestly. And this blue was very nice. Uh, I had to mix a couple colors together just to make this blue right here. Um, the colors were Angelus Royal Blue, like that blue, Angelus Turquoise and Angelus White. Honestly, this is the most satisfying part right here is the outline shoe black. So when you're doing a cartoon effect, you want to just take your time, you guys, like really just take your time, get your small detail brush and just paint like the outer edge black. You know, when I first started doing this, it was a little bit tricky, but all I had to do was just literally take my time and then these little accents really throw like the whole cartoon custom together, honestly. Okay. 
so you guys i don't know if you remember but we did a tiger custom on a pair of air force ones i want to say a year ago and that's honestly my favorite custom because we that was very detailed you know what i'm saying that was very detailed and we really did a tiger on the shoe with the eyes and that was so dope but yeah i had to bring this back for the all-in-one custom So you guys, now I'm about to do like the tiger stripes. And with this, you wanna just kind of like make like squiggly lines. <laughs> I said squiggly. You wanna just make like tiger stripe lines. I actually had to pull this image up on Google again to kind of like know exactly what I was making. So you guys, like, as you can see, I take my detail brush. I'm trying to make these stripes. And let me tell you, when I first did this, it really didn't come out the best. So I had to do a lot of stuff off camera to make it look like real tiger stripes. <laughs> Just want to I just want to emphasize this right now. A lot of people are going to go crazy on the comments. I know the stripes ain't looking the best right now. I had to do a lot of things off camera. Okay. I had to do a lot of things off camera. So just bear with me. You know, keep watching the video because the stripes going to get better after we I get done with it. <laughs> So the next design is a lot of people's favorites when I did the toothpick design. This one, this one's very different. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just painting the inside of this red just to start off, give it a base. And then we're gonna go in with the toothpick and go to work just like how we did last time. Yeah, this, this honestly, it was up there too. A favorite um, like shoes or videos I've done uh, because like just the overall process of just doing it with a toothpick is very, very different. So you guys, here we go. Same process like we did last time. We're gonna take the toothpick, we're just gonna outline, and we're just gonna just go for that bandana theme again. And um, it just took a lot of time just to do this part. It took a lot of time. So this process takes a lot of time. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it takes a lot of time. You just gotta be patient and just gotta just take your toothpick and just go to work. That's all I would say. <laughs> Cause when I first did this, it took, I, I, I couldn't believe I really did it though, to be honest. Um, but basically what I did, I just kept looking at the bandana um, design and just took my toothpick and just went in from there. So you guys, uh, 
yeah but it comes out looking really nice though that's the thing it comes out looking really really nice So the next design is we're going to actually do the splatter. Um, we did a splatter a while back. That was fun. That was very cool. It was very messy. I'll tell you that. Very, very, very messy. But I had to include this because this comes out very, very cool. So for this spooch right here, we're going to be doing the Posca pin camo. If you know me, I love camo. I've done camo on controllers. I've done camo on a lot of different shoes. And this colorway has to be like my top favorite. I actually done it a couple times <laughs> on different videos, if you did not know. But yeah, this comes out very clean. So you guys the next design is we're going to actually be doing a donut drip on this swoosh um this was actually another posca pen straight design you know um you can't go wrong with the donut custom ever and this is one of my favorite customs to do so i had to put it on this swoosh right here So you guys, now we're gonna be doing like a chunky donkey type custom part right here. Um, I did this in a pair of Walmart shoes, but I really wanted to do it on a pair of Air Force One. So this is my chance right here. I'm just doing like the cow print on this part of the Air Force One. But yeah, chunky donkey vibes go crazy. least is this design I did with a short and this is very simple but very clean at the same time you guys this came out really really dope um, this short actually was one of my most popular shorts so I had to include the design in this video and as you will see um, it just comes out real clean and it's very simple <laughs> 